Hi, this is Math 6, Lesson 1-6, Divide Mixed Numbers. In this lesson, we'll be able to divide with mixed numbers. So we learned how to divide fractions last time. This is very similar, but with mixed numbers. Let's start with solve and discuss it. A jeweler has a 5 and a half inch strip of silver wire that she is cutting into 1 and 3 eighth inch pieces. How many pieces can she make? In order to know how many pieces she can make, what do we do? This whole wire is 5.5 inches and she needs uh, 1 and 3 eighth inch pieces each. So we're going to divide 5 half into 1 and 3 eighth and see how many she can make. So, you can use diagrams or you can use numerical values. You're gonna, but you have to use these important information. So, numerically, what do you do? If you have a mixed number, 5 and 1 half divided by, um, divided by, 1 and 3 eighths. Before you change this into multiplication with a reciprocal, can you just uh, use a reciprocal for the mixed number fraction? No, you have to change the mixed number into fraction first. Otherwise, the reciprocal doesn't make any sense. You have to find a reciprocal of a fraction, not just a part of a mixed number. Okay, so change this into fractions. Five times two plus not plus one is eleven. Eleven over two, and then divided by eight times one plus three is eleven as well. Eleven over eight. And so, if you change that into multiplication now, you can use the reciprocal of the divisor 11 over 8. So change this into multiplication and use the reciprocal of 11 over 8, and that will give you the answer. So 88 over 22 is your answer, which will simplify into exactly 4 pieces. So how many pieces she can make four pieces? Okay, focus on math practices. Explain how to use estimation to check whether your answer is reasonable. Now, estimation is not the exact answer, but you can use estimation to quickly check if your answer is close. Okay? So you can use, we can use compatible, water compatible numbers, numbers that are easy to compute mentally. Compatible numbers to estimate. So five and one half divided by one and three eighth is about five divided by one which is 5. 4 is close to 5, so our answer is reasonable. Okay? All right, let's start with example 1. So throughout this lesson, think about how we can divide with mixed numbers. Example 1. Divide a mixed number by a mixed number. Damon, Damon has 37 and a half inches of space on his car bumper that he wants to use for bumper stickers. How many short bumper stickers can Damon fit side by side on his car bumper? He's going to put it side by side like that. Okay, so how many of them can we fit? We're going to estimate and see about where we would expect our answer to be. So 37 and a half is about 6. 
36 and 6 fourth is about 6 and they're compatible numbers. 36 divided by 6 is exactly 6. So the answer is going to be around 6. Now let's figure it out exactly. We're going to write them into a fraction. And then we're going to rewrite them with a multiplication using the reciprocal and multiply them 300 over 50 and divide it to simplify to exactly 6. So 6 it was the estimate and it is an exact number exact answer so you know your answer should be reasonable and it is correct he can fit six short bumper stickers on his car bumper so a short one is what we need here okay Let's look at try question. How many medium bumper stickers can Damon fit side by side on his car bumper? So fill in the blanks here and see if you can figure it out by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answers. Are you ready? Okay, so 37 and a half divided by 10 and 3 fourth is equal to 75 over 2 divided by what is this mixed number in a fraction? 43 over 4. And then you're going to change that into a multiplication by using the reciprocal. So just flip over your fraction into 4 over 43. And you multiply the numerator to get 300. You multiply the denominator to get 86. And that is equivalent to a mixed number of 3 and 21 over 43. So Damon can fit how many whole number? just three medium bumper stickers on his car bumper. You can't, you, you, he doesn't want to cut the sticker and put a part of it. So you have to answer it with a whole number. Convince me, why do you multiply 75 over two by four over 43 to divide 37 half by 10 and three fourth? Why? Because we learned that Division can change into multiplication by using reciprocal, right? So multiplying by 4 over 43 is the same as dividing by 10 and 3 fourth because 10 and 3 fourth is 43 over 4 and 4 over 43 is the reciprocal of 43 over 4. Okay, let's look at the next page. Example two, divide a whole number by a mixed number. Kayla drives her new car to work every day. She it uses one and three fifth gallons of gas for each round trip. So it's not a one way trip, it's a round trip going there and coming back, okay? How many round trips to work can Kayla drive on a full tank of gas? So this car specification, if you can see, uh, fuel, fuel capacity is 16 gallons, okay? So if it has a full tank of gas, it has 16 gallons of gas. And if she uses one and three fifth gallons of gas for each round trip, how many of that round trip can she get? 
So that means we're going to divide 16 by 1 and 3 fifths. Change that into compatible numbers to find the estimation of your answer. Should be around 8. And figure that out by changing your mixed number into a fraction. So if you don't have a mixed number, that's fine. You can just change that into 16 over 1. And 1 over 3, 1 and 3 fifths is equivalent to 8 over 5. You divide them, but you have to first change them into a multiplication using the reciprocal. So multiply 16 times 5 and 1 times 8. You get 80 over 8, which is just 10. So the estimate 8 is close to the quotient 8, 10, so the answer is reasonable. It's not like 1 or 2 or 100. It's not, it's, it's not a number that is completely off. So that's pretty close. And she can drive 10 round trips to work on a full tank of gas is the answer we get. All right, example three, dividing a mixed number by a whole number. Lillian hikes a trail in four hours. She hikes the same number of miles per hour. How many miles did Lillian hike each hour? So we're dividing 15 and 5 sixths divided by four. And so change the mixed number into a fraction, 95 over six, and change the whole number into a fraction, four over one. And you can change that into multiplication, 95 over 6 times the reciprocal of 4 over 1, which is 1 over 4. And multiply the numerator, multiply the denominator, you get 95 over 24. Change it into mixed number, 3 and 23 over 24. So the estimate that you should have got, gotten earlier is close to the quotient, so the answer is readable. Your answer is that Lillian hikes 3 and th 23 uh, uh, over 24 miles each hour. So let's look at the last triad. Divide parts A and B. Change your whole numbers and mixed numbers into fractions. And change it to multiplication and solve the division problem. See if you can do it by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? So let's divide. What did you get for A and B? 20 divided by 2 and 2 third could be written as 20 over 1 divided by 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So 8 over 3. And you can change that into multiplication. by using the reciprocal of 8 over 3, which is 3 over 8, and multiply them, which is 60 over 8, and simplify them, which is 7, and 1 half. Okay? So your final answer should be 7 and half. Part B, 12 and 1 half should be changed into 24 plus 1, 25 over 2, divided by 6 over 1. And you can change that into a multiplication, 25 over 2 times 1 over 6. And that means you get 25 over 12. And that is equivalent to 2 and 1 over 12. Okay. If you got all of them correct, great job. Let's summarize our lesson. To divide with mixed numbers, you write mixed numbers and any whole numbers as fractions and change it into multiplication by using the reciprocal. 
and multiply them and simplify them. You can use compatible numbers to estimate and see where your answer is reasonable. That was lesson 1 6 divide mixed numbers. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, please ask Ms. King in class. We'll continue with the next lesson in the next video. Bye!